Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you have all been well. So today we are here to do a first impressions on the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. So this foundation is like, it has like a ton of hype right now and we are going to put it to the test. So it says up to 24 hour foundation, ox, oh geez, oxytonin sunscreen, broad spectrum SPF 15, radiant finish, normal dry skin, and hydrating. That bottle actually looks really nice. I really like the packaging of this. Um, I bought shade 202 Creamy Natural. You can purchase this at Walmart, Ulta. It retails for $12.99. I'm just going to look at my phone so I can tell you guys about it. Um, L'Oreal says discover the new pro finish of longwear 24 hours with a hydrating glow. Lightweight creamy. This long lasting foundation goes on smooth with a glow finish that lasts. With medium coverage, it instantly hides imperfections for a clear complexion. So we are going to see what's up with this guy today. As you do know, I used to have like really oily skin, but I think ever since I had Mariah, my skin has been changing. So now I feel like I'm like on the normal side, normal to dry actually. So um, just that little warning, I do not, I don't think I have oily skin like I used to. So this review may be changed like if you watch me because you have oily skin just keep that in mind that my skin is changing so I've already moisturized and primed my skin with the usual products that I use I thought about not using any of those products but I want to set this guy up for success just like I would use any of my other foundations so I did moisturize with my Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel and then I did prime with my Benefit Professional we have a big damp beauty blender right here and we are just gonna go in I'm gonna shake it up. I'm really interested in this shade for me. It looks like it should be pretty good. It is very, it's a lot liquidy. It's a lot more, more liquid than the Pro Matte. You can just see it running right there. So, hmm. I'm just gonna take it with my finger and then dab it around my face. The shade selection seemed, um, mm, I feel like I'm caught between two colors. Like my mom actually had to pick this up for me because they don't ship to APO, which is odd. Normally like only like nail polish, hairspray, and all that other stuff doesn't ship APO. And foundations I usually don't have a problem with, but this did not ship APO. And I tried from Ulta, so you might have better luck trying from Walmart or something. But last time I checked, Walmart was all sold out. So I'm going to take what's left on my hand with the Beauty Blender and we're just going to press. It actually might be a pretty good selection, color selection for me. Um, my skin has not been as red as it used to, but if you do have red skin, I don't think this is really going to provide you that much coverage. It does take away the redness, but it isn't, it's definitely, definitely not full coverage, and it is medium, like they claim. So just applying it right now, I don't see any kind of radiant finish. Just like a normal foundation, what a normal foundation looks like when you initially put it on before it sets. Okay, so that's one layer. I'm gonna bring you guys in a little closer. You can see what one layer looks like. And so you can still see a little of my um, imperfections over here. And then definitely like my red acne still shows down here. And you can still see my skin through the foundation, so I'm not sure it's quite medium. It's almost, to me, it's on the lighter side. Um, but it lays really nicely on the skin. It doesn't seem to be clinging to anything. Usually sometimes I get a little dry in between like my eyes. I don't, I forget to moisturize that area well. But it just seems to be sitting very nicely on the skin. So you know me, we're going to go in with another layer and try and build this up. I mean, you totally don't have to. Like if I was doing like just uh, like everyday look, I might keep it as one layer. 
but for first impressions and for the sake of like I want to do a pretty glam look today we are gonna double it if this totally isn't your style then just disregard what I'm doing but we're gonna see how it lays doubled So automatically, like with doing the second layer, this foundation does set a little darker. So once I blend out this second layer, then as you can see the second layer blending onto the first layer, you can just see that the first layer did get darker as it set. And I go all over my eyelid just because I have such discoloration and redness in my skin. So like I don't have to play around with like a primer or concealer afterwards. I just cover that whole area with foundation and it's just really easy. So I would say this color is actually a pretty good match for me. The finish reminds me of the Maybelline Better Skin Foundation, which you guys know I that was in my um, June favorites. I really love that foundation and this reminds me a lot of it. Of course the Maybelline Better Skin comes with a pump so that's always more convenient. Okay so you can still see with the second layer I still have like my acne showing through down here and around the lower half of my face. But around the rest of my face it looks pretty flawless. And 202 seems to be a really good match for me. I'm glad I asked Madre to pick up the shade. Okay, so here it is right here. Now I do see a lot of, I'm gonna say it's already glowy looking. Um, not so much around the sides of my face, which I would actually like prefer, but I just feel like the center of my face looks really glowy. So, Pro Glow Foundation, it looks glowy. It's true. Okay, I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you can see how it looks on the skin. So this is what we have going right here. Pretty nice. I really like the shade 202. It has some warmth in it, but it's not completely yellow. Okay, so so far I really enjoy it. I'm gonna do the rest of my face per usual with my normal like setting powders and concealers, and we are going to be back in a second. Okay, guys, I am done with my makeup now. It is E11. 40. So I don't know really what we're doing for the day. We might go get something to eat. We might just hang around the house. So I will give you guys an update in a couple of hours. As of now, I will bring you guys in. It's wearing pretty nicely. I like it. I don't think it blurs out imperfections as much as my Maybelline Better Skin Foundation. But it's definitely not bad. I don't think it's like extra glowy or anything like that either since I did my regular routine with powder and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Nothing like too impressive so we will see how it wears. Okay you guys so it is now 1 13 and it's like an hour and a half later and you can see the um, glow coming through definitely. Um, you can see that it's centered mostly in the middle of my face it's not really anything like around the perimeter which is like what I would like, but no, it's just my oily areas are actually really starting to like come through. So just giving you guys a quick update, we are heading outside, so we will see how it does in the humidity. I will mention that I did stand outside for like 10 minutes to take pictures of this makeup, so it did get exposed earlier, which may be causing the glow to come through extra, but still really comfortable. The oil breakthrough or the glow, isn't like gross looking so I'm just gonna go with it see how it wears I am gonna put on sunglasses when we head outside so don't mind the air and the foundation but yeah 113 we'll see how it goes okay so I thought I would give you guys an update it is 319 and this is how the foundation is looking right now um, it still looks pretty good in my opinion it still is holding down just that glowy look without looking oily my skin looks really radiant fresh i'm i'm still cool with it you know 
It hasn't built up to anything funky. Ignore the sunglass marks. I think it still looks really radiant. So, still going strong at 320. Hey guys, so I am back to give you my final thoughts on this foundation. It is currently 5.30, so I've had it on for about six hours. And you can see that my whole T-zone has became really oily looking. I'm gonna zoom you in a little closer. So this is what we are working with right now, and honestly, I don't hate it. Um, even though my T-zone is really oily, everything else on my face, my bronzer, my blush, my highlight, has really maintained its um, original look from when I first applied it. Um, I have not blotted all day or touched up, so I'm going to blot now to see if we have a lot of transfer. I just have some toilet paper right here. Okay, so that really helped in my opinion, like I can see it's a lot better. And then you can just see a little bit right there, but from blotting, it didn't really take off the foundation besides for a little bit on my chin, and that might be because I ate too. But overall, I think it's pretty nice. The thing about this foundation is like, I kind of don't know where to take this review because I do not have dry skin like this foundation was intended for. I feel like if you have dry skin, you are really going to love this foundation. The, it says medium coverage, but I don't think it's really that medium coverage. Like I said, it's it's pretty good. I, I'm not mad at it. Another thing to consider about this foundation is because it's pro glow, I feel like it really intensified any of like imperfections that I have. I have some texture, some pores, and when I was reviewing the photos that I took today, I found that they were more visible and they were like more pronounced than they usually are. So that's something to consider also. If you don't have perfect skin, this foundation will almost enhance your non-perfect skin. So if you are on the oily side and you want to try this foundation, I say go for it. I think the price point is really good and I think the finish is really pretty. Just keep in mind it is going to be a more high maintenance foundation because you will have to touch up, but you will get this really glowy look that is in for the summer right now. Speaking of that, I don't necessarily like foundations like this for summer. I feel like when you live in a really humid area or a really hot place anyways, just an all matte foundation gets glowy on its own. So if you have like normal skin, I just don't understand why you would want to put a glowy foundation on and then go outside where it goes straight to oily looking, you know? So I think a foundation like this would be beautiful in the winter time. Like I'm really excited to use this in the winter because I think it'll just be really fresh. But as for right now, um, I don't think I would wear it for more than a couple of hours. I think it would be beautiful for like an event or something like that. Or for if you're just taking pictures for social media, but like wearing it all day and expecting it to hold up in the summertime, I don't think that's practical unless you have really dry skin to begin with. But um, I still do like it. I would wear it again. Like I'm definitely gonna wear it again. I'm just not gonna, I just don't expect it to last all day long. So if you are dry to normal and you really like the glowy look, I say go for it. I think it's a really good price point. And even if you're oily, if you just want to rock that glowy look for like a special occasion or you just want to try something out, I do not think this was a waste of money at all. So I still think you should get your hands on it and form your own opinion. But yeah, that's my review. I hope it made sense because I kind of feel like I'm coming from a weird spot trying to like give you guys the truth about this because it's good on one side but then on the other side for me right now it's just not that practical yeah okay you guys so that wraps up this first impressions please let me know if you are going to grab it or if you have already tried it and that concludes this video so thank you for watching and I will see you next time bye